So, so everyone, today I'm inspired by the tiny house movement. So I just decided to do a hermit's cabin, like a loner's cabin. So I decided to make it look like a stone cabin, type of mountain-like. I just love that look with lots of stone and lots of wood. And I would actually love to have one in real life. It, it turned out pretty cool. I picked a small lot because it gives me that tiny look. It made me think actually in that direction. And if I have used a bigger one, I would probably get carried away and it wouldn't turn out so teeny tiny as it is. I was just picking the right fence. And I, of course, love lots of rocks. So if you may have noticed, the landscaping is very important to me. I always try to think of myself living in that space. Would that be a cozy? Um, how would that make me feel? Uh, so uh, lots of shrubs, of course, my favorite flowers, uh, lots of rocks and kind of that deep forest type of trees. And I love the idea of that pathway with uh, rocks because you can um, make rocks smaller, bigger, whatever you like, whatever suits you. Now just some pine trees on one side and the other just to create that um, deep forest, deep forest look. Inside a couple of windows since it's not a big space this will be just enough. I decided not to place walls for the room and not to divide the living room and the kitchen because the space would look even smaller. I didn't, didn't use the TV because since we are in the forest. I just used a fireplace as the centerpiece with some old school rug, lamp, and that looks just like a real wild, wild cabin. Just some old looking uh, photos. Actually, these pictures are great. Maybe if your sim is into archaeology or something, because it, they have four types and every type is different. Now, this seemed like a very, very good idea because I didn't want to use uh, any modern modern decorations, just something you would uh, normally find in one's cabin, right? And for the kitchen, this seemed the perfect choice, especially the stove with those small logs beneath it. It's really, really cute. It really looks like it belongs to the space. I'm very, very happy how this turned out because I wasn't sure if... Uh, there will be enough of, how can I say, old looking items, but it turned out great. As for the fridge also, fridge looks, looks cool. Now just some shelves, nothing special. And for the dividers, this is the best curtain I could have find because it stands like this. And I think I'm going to use this more often in some of my, some of my other, other houses. Especially if you are making a small house for just one or two sims. Uh, people usually, if they get started with sims, they don't think 20,000 is enough for making cozy, modern, or whatever you like for the style. But not to make a nice and pretty space for your sim with those 20,000. But actually, it's pretty enough. Uh, the other day, I did that with my sim and it was just enough it was uh, enough for two persons not more and the space was vibrant modern with lots of colors and i was very happy maybe that inspired me too to make this to make this cabin but seriously that entire uh, tiny house movement i think it's it's really amazing so just the chandelier this broomstick it just felt like it belongs here you know this um, lamp and now for the bathroom i just use this uh, small shower and sink just 
yeah that's, that's just enough carpet toilet seat you don't need anything else actually yeah that's that's enough so we are done with the space inside now on the outside so I didn't picture this as a backyard because it is supposed to be in the forest not as a backyard but actually just like somewhere in the middle of nowhere uh, so I just used these uh, rocks just kind of to make um, divide the space from the side it seemed better than to use some fence or um, something like that I just put here lots of shrubs a little bit of dirt and now some uh, trees to make this all look um, realistic some pine trees here on the side on the back one bigger one smaller kind of this uh, pathway this pathway seems really good like maybe you just go for a hike or for a jog or something I didn't place a barbecue outside because it seemed like it would take a much more space and it wasn't necessary it's just one or two persons cabin so not so important uh, I just placed a fire pit and that's it actually will be shrubs from the front a couple of lights water fountain for the birds I like the, this uh, this uh, in front in front of the door on the front porch it's really cozy maybe just uh, to sit and uh, read books in the evening or in the morning to drink coffee and that, that would be really nice I like this um, plants for the walls that came with the vampire pack since of course we are in the forest it just makes sense to have this on your house right I couldn't get it all the way to the roof on that one part I don't know why I tried everything but it just didn't want to work and that's it guys so thank you so much for watching and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you bye